Uh, okay. Meredith just asked if I am vlogging. So we're on day four, I think, at this point. Oh, nice. Um, I need to edit day four. We're actually on day five. Um, and it's on YouTube. It's on, I'll, I, I think I'm just putting it on YouTube. But yeah, documenting most of life that's interesting and pertinent. Um, and this is part of it. Say hi. Hey, hi. I'm hi. glad I'm interesting and, and pertinent. Yeah, well, I'm we're put that on my next business card. Yeah, interesting, interesting and, and pertinent. pertinent. Yeah, <laughs> we're accountability buddies. Um, yeah. You can see the MCVO behind her and the Law Lapidus Company. Yeah, I, I work I work as Law's uh, TA for her solopreneur classes. Free advertising. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, go on. You were saying I'm awesome. <laughs> yes, I was saying you're awesome. I was saying that I really love your creativity. I love that you are a risk taker creatively. Um, because to me, risk takers show that they're not afraid to fail. And failure is a big part of what we do. You know, we wake up every morning to piles of rejection letters, sometimes in multiple industries. Yeah. Uh, you know, so to to be creative and take risks and do fun new things, like you were talking about doing musical improv. Like, that's, I mean, even to seasoned improvisers, musical improv can be scary. But you did the thing and you took the risk and you weren't afraid to be weird. And I think, um, I think that daringness is something that we should all learn from and benefit from and try to emulate and that's why i love you thank you i love you You're too welcome. meredith you. nudo um free advertising there check out everything <laughs> that she does um if you ever want really nice things said about you just reach out to her and she'll have a million different things to say um and uh if you have any words of wisdom or if you want to plug yourself what do you do oh well i mean i'm a voiceover artist and a comedian and a journalist I, so when I say that I wake up to rejection emails, I mean, I'm waking up to rejection emails, like 10 of them in a day, every morning. Um, and that's, that's what I want. I think that's my words of wisdom. That's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately is embracing failure. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think that failure is necessarily a bad thing. Um, failure is just part of the process. Failure is something that helps you learn to build a thick skin along the way. And Failure is also good about helping you learn to depersonalize mm -hmm. because most of the time when you say no, it's not because of you. It's just because somebody else was more yes than you. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, I, I'm learning to, to see it as a gift and a learning experience because just because they said no, doesn't mean you did a bad job. And I think you should be proud of you for doing the thing, no matter what. Okay. So day five i think we're on i just had an accountability meeting with my accountability buddy meredith um a lot of good stuff came out of that meeting uh i woke up right when it was supposed to start so i'm you know i'm just offset a little behind today overall now i'm on my way to a meeting um with a person who can do lights uh for this musical theater cabaret that i have coming up with my theater so I just had a meeting with my uh, lighting designer friend and we're gonna do some good work um, moving forward. Um, lots of stuff to update on that. Um, I'll talk about it later uh, when I'm not taking a video of myself in public. Okay, successful day at the coffee shop. I got a good amount of things done. Um, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed at first with the amount of things that I had coming down the pipe, um, which is natural when you got a lot coming down the pipe. But instead of having that option paralysis that artists often get, I decided, to, you know, let's work on small random things, like bite-sized things that are manageable, organizational things, stuff like that, stuff that you can do passively. And then I was like, okay, let's do a little more, of, let's take up a little break, do a little more of the thinking work that's required. Um, and that turned out to be that turned out to be a good system. Taking little breaks here and there, um, great system for people with ADHD is just like uh, make set goals um, and give yourself breaks. Um, bullet pointing work is really nice to do. Like five minutes of work, um, be like, okay, you only have to work for five minutes, get it all done, and like a like a four or five minute break, something like that. Twenty minutes of work, five minute break, something like that. 
it helps to keep your brain active and stimulated and um, not, it helps to not get your brain too tired and overwork you. Uh, while I was at the coffee shop there, I met with Dean Coburn, my lighting friend. I My girlfriend came for a little bit and she got some work done. And I got an email while she was there about this open mic that I had uh, tried to apply to and they put me on the set list. So um, I polished up, um, worked on writing some of my bits that I wanna work on. Um, and they have an open mic tonight, Monday night, um, that's just sign, show up, go up. You sign up and you're accepted there, um, and you can go at, you can go up and work on stuff for free. Um, so, so I'm going to go to that open mic tonight to work on a couple of bits out loud. I hope I don't bomb. Um, we'll see how it goes, um, but that way I'll be a little more prepared for Wednesday's open mic, um, which is going to be fun. Okay, hello. We're currently on our way to the 1851 club, I think it's called. I'm gonna snag a spot at that open mic. Um, we just worked a bit. It's a really long joke, and I hope it's gonna be funny. Very good. Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> but we'll see what the crowd thinks. They, I guess you'll got, you guys will see if I upload me doing stand-up, <laughs> if it's funny. <laughs> Bye. Laughs at them. Okay, so we just uh, sorry. Um, I had enough alcohol in me that I could improvise. You did and a great job. I felt comfortable on stage, and people laughed. So I was really between going and not going. I was really on the fence, um, and. I'm glad that I went because um, I it was brave. I felt the fear and I did it anyway. Um, what did you think about it? I think you did a great job. Um, I filmed the whole thing, and I think for your first time performing in front of an audience, like it fucking it it was awesome. We're gonna stick to it. Keep consistent with that, and those are my Monday nights. Um, I'm gonna fill that out on my calendar. Hell yeah. My awesome. Monday nights too. Well, yeah. <laughs> not, uh, well, if there's a night that you can't make it, I'm still gonna go, you know? Yeah. They said I should try. So yeah. I agreed to that up there. Give it a shot. Okay. Bye.